Today's farming involves the widespread transportation of seedlings, crops, compost and farm residues. While this has helped farmers access new inputs and reach global markets, it has also been the cause of spreading of pests and pathogens. In response to this, there has been an increased use of insecticides, pesticides and fungicides. There is another way, which promotes a holistic approach that is safe for people and safe for the environment. Organic pest and disease control involves the cumulative effect of many techniques. First, we must allow for an acceptable level of pest and disease damage, as they are also part of nature and play a role as foods for the beneficial microorganisms and organisms we need for productive farms. Before planting, we should pay careful attention to crop selection, choosing disease-resistant varieties. We can use insect traps to monitor and control insect populations that cause damage as well as transmit diseases. We can outsmart weeds by irrigating land in advance, then uprooting the weeds before sowing the real seeds. We raise and release into our farm predatory beneficial insects that naturally eat and control pests. We can further encourage the presence of beneficial insects by planting the habitats and plants they need to survive. These can be shrubs on borders or insect hotels. We can use compost and compost tea to increase the beneficial microorganisms in our soil and on our plants so that they outnumber the bad microorganisms. Always stick to using biological pesticides and fungicides, using a sprayer to rid you of pathogens and pests safely. Apply good farming practices such as proper irrigation and proper plant density to reduce the risk of pests and pathogens. And include companion crops and increasing biodiversity on your farm to discourage and divert pests. And last but not least, to include legumes in your good crop rotation so that nutrients are recycled and that you interrupt the pest and disease reproduction cycles. Through organic farming, we can deal with the everyday reality of increased pests and pathogens without compromising the health of the people we feed. Biological control does not ignore the source of the problem. Rather, it solves it through these multiple practices that result in food that is safe to eat and safe to grow.